Okay, so this is the section on use similar and congruent triangles. Hopefully I can do a few of these and give you guys a little bit of help. Okay, so we'll notice we're dealing with a proportionality thing here where we've got this smaller triangle. Um, let's see if I can redraw it. Where this is 7.75. And then this part we don't know from B to S. And then the bigger triangle there, we know that this part's 12. And this whole side is going to be our X plus 5.1. So we can set up our proportion x over x plus 5.1 equals 7.75 over 12. We'll cross multiply 12x equals 7.75x plus when you do 5.1 times 7.5 you get 39 39.525. If you subtract 7.75x from both sides, you get 4.25 on this side. X equals 39.525. Then when you divide both sides by 4.25, you get X is 9.3. This 9.3 is not your answer because they're wanting the length of BL, but if I plug it back in there, I just need to add 5.1 to get my answer, which should be 14.4. Should be. There we go. Next question. Okay, so this is one that we talked about today that involves um, just the way they have it set up. It's going to involve our geometric mean deal. So if you'll recall, um, this altitude to the hypotenuse right here um, created these two triangles that are similar to the original and to each other. And also we said that x, is, or sorry, this 10 is going to be the geometric mean of 8 and the entire hypotenuse, which we don't know. Um, we also could say we call this x that 6 is a geometric mean of x and 8 so this is going to be the way we can find 8 or I'm sorry in w so I'm going to say 6 is the geometric mean of x and 8 so can I write it this way 6 equals the square root of x times 8 you'll square both sides Uh, equals 8x, divide both sides by 8, you should get um, x equals 4.5. So if this is 4.5, they make, that makes this whole thing 12.5. So we've got 10 and 12.5 that are two sides of this triangle. We just need to figure out this third side over here. Which, we can do a geometric mean again and say that, let's call this y is the geometric mean of 4.5 and 12.5. So y is the square root of 4.5 times 12.5. Um, let's plug that in our calculator and see what answer we get. Um, we end up with 7.5. So if I'm going to do the perimeter, that 7.5 is there. 10 plus 7.5 plus 12.5, you end up with 30. That's our perimeter for SOW, that triangle. Again, this is another problem that, notice it's a right triangle, and we have this altitude to the hypotenuse drawn. They're wanting us to find the length of LW, which is this, actually this whole thing, 
Let me erase that and get it out of the way because that looks pretty bad. Um, but I can figure out this segment by using a geometric mean because 7 is a geometric mean of these two numbers. So 7 equals the square root of 3.5x. And so I square both sides. I get 49 equals 3.5x. Divide both sides by 3.5 and that'll give me x. Um, it ends up being 14. So this is 14. Therefore, to get LW, I just need to add those two together. So that should give me 17.5. And then the last one. Um, again, we're working with similar right triangles here. And they've got these altitudes drawn in. They want the length of HD. Um, so I already know... PD. That's part of it. I need to figure out this. Let's call that part X. Um, we kind of need to know X in order to get um, I'm sorry. No. Actually, this is a lot easier than I'm thinking. I'm going to have to do geometric mean. Um, because these two triangles are similar to each other. Um, doesn't the 6 correspond to the 27? So I can do 6 over 27. Has to equal x over 9. Kind of lucked out on this one. Um, so 27x equals 6 times 9, which is what? 54. So x is going to be 2. You divide both sides by 2. So if x equals 2, that's what's going there. So hd is just going to be 9 plus 2, which is 11. Okay, I hope that helped a little bit. Um, I'll try to maybe post up videos for the other two things, but can't make any promises.